Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Karen. Hello, Jacqueline. How's Hello. Everyone? Ready? Or not ready yet? Ready. Okay, good. That's, that's the attitude. That's the attitude. Okay, so we're gonna fix all this stuff. And where are the others? Where is the rest of the crew? Sleeping. My, my, my mouse is not working. Okay. Now, yes. Okay, here we are. Now we're back. Back to the road. Hey, Jorge, do you, do you ride a motorcycle every day? Yes, I ride motorcycle every day. Wow, isn't it dangerous? Yes, it's a little bit dangerous. Not a little bit, I guess it's very dangerous. You need to be careful with other vehicles yes. when you drive. Because I sometimes I, when I, uh, when I'm driving, I, you know, I'm listening to the news, and every day I hear that there are one, two, three, only four accidents at five thirty-six a.m. There are already four accidents with uh, you know, bikers, you know, motorcycles, and I think it's very dangerous. I don't know. If some people yeah. are are crazy to drive, right? In a blink in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Right, you know, you just well. I mean, any in, in the especially in the morning, like five thirty six, when it's uh <laughs> still dark, because it's dark, and then people actually tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> actually, tomorrow I I ride I ride a bike from Guayua to San Salvador. Guayua, where 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 do you live in Guayua? No, in San Salvador, but I went to Huayua to help my father to some work. Okay, then you have to return. Yep. It's a long distance, right? Yeah, more or less. All right. And do you like motorcycles? Yes, I like. More than cars? Sí. Okay. Te lo voy a decir en español. Se aprecia mejor la carretera. En moto que en carro. Yeah, I guess. Yes. Se I ve guess. Disti de distinta manera, por eso me gusta. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes, I, I long, long time ago when I was young, I I rode a mo motorcycle, but it's a passenger, right? No, no riding. I okay. I I learned, but only for for you know, for uh, in the mountains. You know, just a, as a sport, right? But not for the street. Never. I had a couple. I had a couple of accidents, and it was sufficient. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Par de caída, dije no, ya no. Eso no es para mí. Right? And yeah. Peto raspado en la cicatriz. That's good. But I enjoy it. Okay, Jacqueline. Long time no see. Where were you? ¿Qué se había hecho? Este, fíjese que tuve, hola compañeros, fíjese que tal tuve Estados un... Unidos? <ríe> no, este, tuve un deceso familiar y oh my la God. semana pasada y no tenía como ánimo. No, ya, yeah, that's, I understand. Incluso estoy atrasada a la plataforma y me llamaron, pero ya estoy ahí poniendo una corriente. 
Ok, bueno, cualquier cosa ahí estamos a la orden. Lo siento mucho. Gracias. Sí, Sorry. gracias. Ok. Good. Pero aquí ya nos vamos a, a, a distraer un poco. Ok, la seguida. <laughs> ok, good. Excellent. Then we have Iris, Karen, Gaby, Carlos, Serpan, and Edith. Ok, good. Yeah, I will repeat a little bit of the last video that we studied last night for you to remember what we were doing, right? Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present, plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did, after that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? 
first we need to add the wh order what then we need to add was or where after that we include the subject your major finally we need to add a compliment and a question mark at the end and publish now it's your turn to practice making wh questions with did was and where practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart but now focus on asking them about yourself or your family after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums plus subject plus okay just for you to see any questions about this uh questions of uh, or structures because here you have the question and then you have the the answer right so i just want to emphasize that in the first three questions they are just in b where did you grow up where did you come when did you come and why did you become okay so did did and then you have a better go come become and in the answer you use the past tense form when you say did in this case you only use the verb like in present and in the affirmative answer you use the verb in past tense okay did with actions with verbs and then you have in the other three questions here how old were you what was your major and how was college here we are using the verb to be was and where no how old did you wear right like he says here so then it says how old were you in 1990 what was your major in college okay so what were you studying if it was engineering if it was um, computers or if it was languages, English, okay? How was college? And you say it was great. So for example, this guy in college was studying drama. That was the principal, the major, okay? Area of study. How old were you in 1990? I was in 18, okay? So this guy was born in 1972. Okay, 1972 plus 18 is 1990. Okay. Questions? Doubts? Quejas? No? Okay. No problem. Good. So then we have this one. And then let's, let's take it to the end. Ends here. And then we have the knowledge check to make sure that we have understood. It says unscramble. What is unscramble? Unscramble is, si ven acá las palabras are scramble. Okay. Descifrar this. Ajá, como. Desordenadas. Ajá, entonces hay que. Unscramble es como desenredar, right? Desenredar. Okay, unscramble, porque están ahorita scramble, están enredadas, revueltas. Okay, so they say grow up, you did wear. Entonces, el objetivo del ejercicio es acordarnos del orden correcto de cada una de las palabras, okay, in the question. And if you see, in the question, because you see the question mark, you fell up, you see me interrupted. So what is the first, what is the correct order in that sentence, in that question? Where did you grow up? Where, Where did you, did grow, you up? grow up? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have, where did you grow up? Mm -hmm. And, eh, vean que acá, aquí no tiene el, eh, la mayúscula, pero aquí sí lleva mayúscula. Okay, porque es la primera letra de la pregunta, de la oración. Where did you grow up? And the question mark. 
con una de estas cositas a veces que no se ponga correcto, le va a salir mal. In the year 2000, all were you how? How all uh, you were in the year 200. Solo en dos palabritas hay que darle vuelta. How old? How old? Mm -hmm. Were you? Were you? Because it's a question. Uh -huh. How old you were? Were you mm -hmm. in the 200 year? No, I think I'm going to go primero. In the year 2000. The year 2000. 2000. Yes, okay, in the year 2000. How old were you? In the year 2000. How old were you in the year 2000? So you have the question mark and then you have the capital H. Good. Begin to study English when did you? When did you begin to study English? Uh, sorry, when did you begin to study English? Yes, when did you begin to study English? Good. The last one? When were you born? When, when were you born? That's the, that's the classic, right? When were you born now? Okay, so here you see, did you grow? How old were you? Not did. When did you begin? Did. And when were you born? And there we have. Cool. No problem so far? No. Okay, good. Now we are okay. Say by the end of this class, okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing school. Okay, now we're going to talk about a school using vocabulary about the school subjects and objects at the same time. Okay, this is the vocabulary. Hi everyone, in this class we learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes, history, Math, physical education, science, schools, college, elementary, high. schools and places for example under places you can add classroom then i would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned for example where did you go to elementary school what were your favorite subjects in high school try to make as many questions and answers as possible after you finish this activity Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. You do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into. All right. So here we have classroom, college, elementary, gym, high history, junior high, lunchroom, math, physical education, and playground science. 
Okay. Take two minutes. Tomen dos minutos para pensar y los categorizamos, okay? Okay. Okay, classes. Which are classes? History. History. Math. Math. Okay. I call education. Uh, physical education. That's uh, physical like education. History. Science. La famosa Science. 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 Okay. Science. History. history. Okay, and here you can also remember, for example, uh, language, art, uh, geography. Okay, the ones that we had in, when we were in school, math, mathematics, social studies, uh, history, literature, right? Literatura, then uh, probably, what else we had, drama, or, what was the other one that we had? Arts. Okay, we had art, music, chemic, chemistry, chemistry, biology, physics, uh, computer, computer, uh -huh, yes, computer, computer, yes, computer science too. Okay, uh, all this were you know different uh, class or subjects you know that we had. Okay, about schools, we have, uh, what about Sorry. a school? Which one you said, Sorry. College. College, uh-huh. Elementary. Elementary, uh, correct. High. High. Junior high. Junior high. Playground. Playground, uh, no, that's, uh, we have oh, play, college, play. elementary, yes, uh, high, high school, high. junior high, junior high, elementary, and that's it, right, then, in places, we have the classroom, gym, gym, the, uh -huh, gym, yeah. gym. lunchroom, Lunch, lunch room, the lunchroom, lunchroom, playground, 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 yes, Okay, so in the playground is, you know, the little space in the kinder, you know, and elementary also, your children can play. Okay, so that's, those are the spaces. And this is how we can categorize uh, the vocabulary, right? Good. Three different sections, classes, schools, and place. Then I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Okay, question, Where? what were your favorite subjects in high school? Okay, now think about the past. 
Okay, think about the past. Okay, and which ones, uh, which are the ones, which were the subjects that you enjoyed? Subject like mathematics, social studies. Okay, Jorge, which ones did you enjoy? A little bit math and history. Okay. Math, history, good. Okay, and you, um, Gabi? Chemical, no sé si es chemistry. Chem chemistry, yes, chemistry. Chem chemistry. Okay. okay. Chemistry. Chemistry, what else? Mm. And computer. Computer oh. science, uh -huh. computer science. Mm -hmm. And English. And English, okay, very good, excellent. Jacqueline? Ninguna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> Matt, Matt. <laughs> Matt, ah, okay, I can believe that. Okay, yes, Matt, <laughs> Matt, 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 mathematics is good. Okay, good. Um, what about, uh, let's see, who else? Let me check here, Herman, Edith. Edith. Yes. What were your favorite subjects? Um, English. Okay. Uh, literature. Okay, literature. Uh, and um, I don't know, science maybe. <laughs> okay, <science. laughs> okay. Why, okay. Why do you laugh? Math. <laughs> <Por qué nada? laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe science. Okay, good. Maybe. Hey, okay, good. Carlos. Uh, biology, biology, chemistry, okay, and social science, social study, social study, social studies, uh -huh. social studies, okay, okay, good. So you are a scientific, right? So you like uh -huh. you like science. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay, guys, then, then you see here, for example, the questions, right? Where did you go? Okay, where did you go is a que, a que escuela fue, right? In la primaria, right? Where did you go? Okay, if you see, it's not like in Spanish, a que, a what school, no. Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to elementary school? Where did you go to middle school? Where do you go to junior high? Okay. And then you're going to use this answers. I went to, and then you can use the name of the school. Okay. Here. Okay, now we're gonna use questions like yesterday, you know, uh, please. I want you to use questions with the verb to be on. Using what? What, where? Where, where? Where, where? Uh, what if it's, um, when, where? You can also use why. Uh, 
Okay, by where? And how? Okay. Escriban una pregunta con cada uno. Puede ser what were o what was. Recuerden que si es para where were you, vamos a estar where. Si es, por ejemplo, what was your favorite, eh, let's say, uh, music in high school. Ahí vamos a usar what. Porque es music, no son músicas, right? Si es singular o plural, si es para you, okay? For example, what was your favorite music in high school? Uh, where was your favorite? Uh, where was your favorite restaurant? No, cuál era? Where? Where was your favorite restaurant in high school or in the university? Okay, you can say uh, it was in San Salvador. It was in San Miguel. The place. Okay, be careful if you're using what. If you're using what. Where, when, cuando, why, por qué, how, how. Okay. Practicamos con estos cinco tipos de preguntas. Okay. Una pregunta con cada uno. Si tienen dudas antes de hacerla, me preguntan. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct, Jorge. How was your favorite sport in high school? When were you studying in the university? Not the end. that one. Eh, what did you say? When did you? Ah, okay. Me faltó el did. Sí, pero no lleva el where. Eso es una... Porque está... When did... Uh -huh. you study? When did you mm -hmm. study? Okay. Porque ese es con un verbo. Okay. No es where were you? When did you study? Then what was your favorite uh, sport in high school? Yes. How were math classes? Okay. How were math classes at college? Classes from WS and that's it. 
perfect to study. How were math classes at school? Then you can say they were very dynamic. They were very... Teacher, se me, me comió una S. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, que tengo el ojo del profesor que siempre está viendo también. Okay. No, no dejar pasar eso. Okay. No, pero está bien. Good. How okay. were math classes at college? It's an excellent question. They can say they were nice. They were boring. They were difficult. They were excellent. So they were terrible. Uh, when did you start? Uh -huh, yes, that's correct. Abby. When did you start in university? Okay. It's another one to work. So I said that correct. Good. De acuerdo. And when was your graduation party? Your, your, all you. How were your exams in the college? Uh -huh, very easy. Very easy, guys. Very easy. How were your exams in the college? Okay, very good question. When were okay, when were you celebrate? When did or when did you celebrate? Caption. When did? Uh -huh. yes. verbo, okay, when did you? Okay. Okay, when did you celebrate? You not it says not, not the where or was. Uh, podría, una ahí, how was your first anniversary? How was your first anniversary celebration? Okay, how was your first anniversary celebration? Adelaida, what was your okay, single being Adelaida? Then you say how was what was your favorite sport? Good, I like that. Thank you. What was your favorite sport? My favorite sport was uh, soccer. Okay. And sometimes, sometimes basket. Why did you go? Why did you go to university? Uh -huh, Jana, yes. Why did you go? Good. Because I needed to study a career. When was I, when was I Ventura born? Wow. Well, Sarai, when were you born? Sarai, is a question for you. When were you born? I was born in in El Salvador. No, when? The time. Cuando? Mm -hmm. The tiempo. In... In 2010. When? <laughs> uh, 2000... Mm, 19... Good. Yes. All right. Then, okay, then when was Sarah even to the born? She was born in 1997. Uh, there was, when did you play in the park? Yes, it is good. What was uh, what was you wear in the high? So here, Carlos, is what did you wear? Que vestia? What did you wear in the high school? Yes. Okay, what? thank you. Okay. Thank you for good for writing. No question. Okay. When were you work in the university? Where were you born? What was your favorite movie in uh, the essence? Yes. Why were you? Well, why were you problem with the car? Okay, the number one. When were you work? When did you work in the university? Yes. When did you work? And in the last one, why did you have problem? Oh, what was? Okay, I got it. 
what was the problem with the car? What, Karen? What was the problem with the car? Mm -hmm. What was the problem? And the why? Okay. Okay, this is a little longer. One, two, try. Okay. To so say, what did you do when the teacher was sick? I even did it was. What did you do when the teacher was sick? Stay in the house. Celebrate. Take a vacation. Oh, what do you do when the teacher was sick? To say I stayed in my house. Okay, what was the name of school? Yes, what was the name of your school? Okay. What else? Another question? Hey, that one you can use also what was the name of Okay, how can I respond this? The first teacher. Miss Rita. <laughs> okay. Miss Elsa, okay, good. Okay, more questions? The pause. <clears throat> okay. 
Where was? Where was your school? Not a name, donde, lugar, right? Where was your school? In San Salvador. Oh, okay, good. Karen, you too, okay. Y mexicanos, okay, good. And you can write in, uh, okay, this one, if you have a dollar, right? And so this were the different place, okay, where? Okay, good. What was your uh, favorite day? What was your favorite day in high school? Oh, every day in high school, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Oh, favorite food at the age of 10, uh -huh, yes. Wednesday, carrying good. My very first day was Friday. Okay, yes. Okay, good. So if you see all these uh, sentences, answers, questions, they have to do with the verb to be. They pueden ver la diferencia cuando me gusta was, cuando es necesario usar el be, right? Cuando me preguntar por una acción, when did you graduate? When did you eat? Where did you eat? Okay, so we have an action. Then we use verb B, right? And the other one is for what was your name, like noun, right? Eh, Se puede usar el verbo to be con verbos cuando tenemos la voz pasiva, que lo va a dar mucho más adelante. O cuando estén usando el presente progresivo, right? I was working. Yo estaba trabajando. Okay, pero eso lo van a ver después. Ahorita es only con sustantivos o con adjetivos. Okay, where was your, what was your favorite school? Estamos usando favorite adjective, school, noun. Okay, usado con adjetivos y eh, sustantivos. Okay, so this is like the beginning, right? Okay, then let's see the next one. Here we have another one, you know, with the, I oh know we finished this one. Wait, I cannot see the, what the next exercise is. Okay, so here we have, uh, it says by the end of this class, you will develop the skills in scanning, reading for specific information and sequencing events. Okay, so we're going to see. Something about Ricky Martin. Hi everyone, 
this classroom developed skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. I want to do this forever. Okay. okay. I click on the wrong button. Okay. Questions here about vocabulary or something else that you need to comments. I really would study as if the Ricky Martin can say for other singers. A uh, sorry Carlo. Uh, a performer. The performer, yes. Performer is uh, the person who acts. Okay, la persona que actúa. Performer. So as always a performer as a child, he appeared on television como un actor, right? Tenía right. películas, programas, creo que es el novela. I don't stop opera. Okay, and there were some uh, videos, commercials. Teacher, room yep. after war. Who? After war. Afterward, después. Afterward. Pero es un después de al final. Okay, como ah, que okay. como que yo le dijera a usted, le voy a responder esta pregunta, pero al final. Okay, uh, después. Como que mm. cuando termine la clase, right? Dice afterward. Okay, eh, la, solo after, after es después. Okay, okay, after this, after this exercise. We are going to practice, okay? And then, we meet when we have this uh, afterwards. It's a night, okay? After a class. Okay. Okay. That's the difference between afterwards and after, right? What else? Mexican soft. Opera. Uh -huh. This is the Mexican soap opera, like Maria Mercedes, right? Yeah, that's uh, uh -huh. exactly. From Mexico. Well, in those days, they were Mexican, but now they are from Colombia, Brazil, uh, Mexico, Spain, different countries. Mexican soap opera. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So soap opera is the novela. Una, una ópera de jabón. <laughs> <laughs> Bien raro. ¿eh? <laughs> Soap opera. Si es que no, no, hasta ahorita acabo de reparar, nunca había aver, querer averiguar así todo. ¿Por qué? Soap opera. 
Eso nada, también más a sopa. Ajá, ajá, porque sup con o ah. sería sopa, sopa, jabón, ah. sopa. The proper. Okay. Oh, this is English. Good. Another one, uh, let's see the pronunciation then. We see, for example, say Ricky Martin was born in San, Jose, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer as a child. He appeared in television, commercials, and studied singing. Okay, that is the briefing. Then detail. Remember that this is la idea principal y luego the sequencing, la secuencia, right? De ahí primero está lo que es en general lo que se de pequeño, and then begin at the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Okay, he was 17. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera soon afterward. He recorded two Spanish language albums. After his success, he moved back to the US. So probably that was like 18, 19 years old. Back in the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Le Miserable. Okay, says hello, Miserable. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. And let's see, okay. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, right, was on that album. And then I think he sang this song in a World Cup, right? In France, I guess. Francia 98, I guess. Ahí creo que la cantó. If I am not wrong. And then now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. If you see, this is a summary, resume, right? Uh, the, of uh, Ricky Martin's life, but there is a sequence, okay? Lo que hizo primero, what he did after, what happened after, que pasó después, and then, y luego, and al final, okay? And now you can add more. So then this is the idea of, uh, that you can see how you can organize your idea when you are reading or when you are writing. Okay, any other question? No problem? Teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher, estaba viendo que era soap opera. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y este son, eh, ¿cómo decir serie o una tele, telenovela? Ajá, le yeah. llamaban así porque eran destinados a, decía por aquí un artículo, Ajá. a las mujeres y como los interrumpían con comerciales para de detergentes y jabón, le <ríe> pusieron soap opera. ¿Y lo opera? Pero es una serie o una novela, es, no, así Ajá. es el nombre. Porque los interrumpían con, con, ¿cómo está? Los, con comerciales de detergente. Ah, ok. Ajá, bien, no, because... pero se, re, se refieren a las novelas. Uh -huh, no, yeah. Las palabras son las novelas. Tiene sentido. Ajá, exacto, son las novelas, pero lo que les digo es que el soap opera no lo, no lo había, nunca lo había investigado. That's good. Pero es por los... Curioso. Ajá, estaba, estaba hecho para mujeres, entonces estaba un poco... Me okay, un tanto machista, ¿verdad? Right? <laughs> hoy, hoy los mexicanos no dicen novelas, dicen dramas o comedias. Ah, ok. And then, uh, that's, that's why, for example, they use it, uh, probably because of that, porque suena muy como que para mujeres, nada más. Pero es que lo que pasa es que ellos también los hombres las ven. Las vemos, ¿sí? porque ellos... Las vemos, Yo vi el Señor de los Cielos. <laughs> okay, no sé si era novela o qué. Okay. How about sometimes, right? Then this is so popular. But you see, that's why sometimes there are, it's good to know this is like a, 
cápsula cultural, ¿vale? Que estaba hablando. Ok, probablemente, como, como dicen por ahí, también un dato inútil a veces. But it's good. Ok. It's good to know. Then, uh, let's see, that's the pronunciation and that's the... Then, uh, okay, so tomorrow we have, we're going to read about speech marking, we're going to answer the knowledge check, and uh, we have another reading, and I, I have another reading, something else to read, and another exercise with verbs in past tense, que le voy a dar, y luego vamos a hacer el examen, vamos a ver el examen de un repaso del examen final para que ya, ya lo terminaron, pues mejor aún, right? Eh, si no, pues tienen dudas, me pregunto también, o sea, lo vemos ahí. Entonces, alguna duda que tengan de lo anterior, de, la vamos a ver acá. Ok, so that would be for tomorrow. Ok, people, thank you very much. I'll ok. See you tomorrow, have a very good night. And good night. take care. Ok, bye bye. Good night. 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 Bye, see you. Bye. See you. Bye.